Hello people, I'm Vito, and welcome back to Castlevania Order of Ecclesia with Robberlink. Hello. Alright, where we last left off, we confronted Barlow about all that has happened. About the lies to Albus, not telling us about what would happen when we used Dominus. So we had to fight him, and it turns out he wanted Dracula's return. And, uh, well, he got his wish, it appears. Dang it, I actually trusted him. Somewhat. It seemed, based on how you were voicing Albus in the beginning, you thought he was just a bad guy. <laughs> kind of, yeah. I, I didn't have the context. I mean, you didn't have spoilers, basically. <laughs> Alright, uh, but before we hop into Dracula's castle, I am going to go and probably do a few of the villager quests if I can real quick. Maybe. I don't know. Alright. Uh, did I? Yeah, he wanted the Yeti. You sure you don't want to report on the giant castle that just showed up? Hey, uh, Nikolai, have anything to say about it? Hello. Thank you very much. You rescued every last soul in town. Okay, he doesn't care. But their tribulations still weigh heavily upon their hearts. Would you speak with them and help to lift their spirits? I wonder if now that the castle is here, if Arena will actually give me another quest. Was that the requirement? Nope. Okay, then. Maybe I need to visit it first? Huh. Uh, and then what else? Did I not pick one up from someone? Uh, Abram? Yeah. Yo, there you are! Listen, my behavior's been a bit erratic since, you know, the incident. I assume you mean your kidnapping? And not something else, like uh, huffing some of your ingredients? <laughs> I hope I haven't said anything to enrage you. Really, I mean that. It's quite alright. Words don't bother me. Unless it's Barlow saying he wants to resurrect Dracula. Wait, what? W what was that? <laughs> yeah. Whatever. Good. Well, to patch things up, I'll give you a special medicine that I don't have the materials for. Sage in square brackets, and merman meat in square brackets. Well, I've had that for the longest time, so that's easy. <laughs> but you can find them. Oh yes, you can find them. And that'll make you such a brew as to heal your terrible wounds on the spot. How about it? Oh yes. <laughs> that's a yes, isn't it? I'm counting on you. Later? Okay, it's been a few seconds. <laughs> Unusual. <laughs> Yo, there you are. <laughs> I haven't moved. I could have sworn you did. <laughs> uh, must be all these things I'm taking. Yeah. <laughs> Unusual medicine components. Quest successful. Sage in square brackets and merman meat in square brackets. You found them. You're amazing. I'll make you a potion of instant mega healing. And this one's on the house. Except not really? Yeah. <laughs> it's on that house over there. Go get it. <laughs> no, wait. If I gave it to you, you'd take it into danger and get badly injured just so you could use it. Don't do it. You mean too much to me. So with that in mind, I'm not giving it to you. Thanks. I'll leave it at the store, and make it really pricey so you don't buy it. Ha! Huh. Okay, I'm going to punch you now. <laughs> Thanks a bunch. <laughs> Thanks a punch? <laughs> <laughs> well, that's it for all the medicine. Except mine. But that's another story. Maybe you should stop. <laughs> but you have my undying moral support from back at a nice, safe distance. And whenever you take medicines, think of me. Think of me! Later. <sighs> that guy's on something. Welcome. Hey. <laughs> oh yeah, and I did check between sessions, and I believe the discount is like one-fifth of the price, or 20%. Nice. There we go. Super potion, and it's freaking pricey. <laughs> I actually and, can't afford that. Oh my gosh, and that's with a 20% discount? Yep. <laughs> I could buy two. But 
but it does restore all HP. So, it's nice. All right. <coughs> all right, and then... There is one other thing concerning the the Tin Man. So, what I did, I kept going in through here and, you know, making him spawn. Right. Uh, do I have what I want equipped here? Yeah. So I would just come in here, have him spawn, and then kill him and leave and keep doing that to try and farm him. Okay. But because of that, I failed to realize that doing so actually makes this chest appear. So I didn't get this. <laughs> and it's a strength ring. Well then. I finally found it. It'd be hilarious if you open the chest and there's just like 50 <laughs> rings in there. <laughs> all accumulated from all the kills of him yep. I got. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Ring of strength. I wonder what that does. <laughs> We'll never know. All right, that's all I needed from here. And then... Hmm, did the music here change? Now that you mention it, it is different, isn't it? Yeah, I think it is. Maybe that's why I was caught off guard when I when we started this playthrough and then it was the music I liked because I'm probably more familiar with this point because it's later in the game. Ah. Uh. All right. Uh, I'm going to check real quick. What was I going to do? You got those quests. Okay, the Yeti, probably. Do you know where he is? Yep. I, I have it written down, but I'm pretty sure I remember it being around here. And then I just need to go left and down. Uh, hold on. I think I found a way that I can kill him. I don't remember if I saved after I did it or not, so he might not be in my list of enemies killed yet, but I think I can use the the wind plus blade special and that'll kill him for sure. I'm sure there are other ways I could probably kill him by now, but that's one way I know of that definitely works. All right. But like, you have to take a picture first, right? Yeah. And if I if I fail, I can just leave and come back and try again. All right, so the room below here. You missed. <clears throat> All right, I've got you in my sights. As soon as I find my freaking camera. <laughs> there it is. Got him. All right, so here. Now I just want to kill him once so that I can get... Yeah, there. Ah. Okay, so he's weak to fire and blade. Okay. But I used wind and blade and it worked. Alright, fair enough. Yep. <laughs> Die. Uh. <laughs> Alright, give me one sec. I'm going to head back to the village. Actually, why not make it more convenient? <coughs> Those are super cheap, so... Alright. I, I don't mind using them. Alright, Marcel. Yeah. Here. Case of the Hideous Snowmen quest successful. So the Yeti in square brackets is real too, eh? Never would've guessed. Well, this is huge. Here's your cut. Nice going. 12,000, geez. <laughs> okay. I might start hearing offers from a better paper soon. You mean your paper isn't the best? <laughs> After what you've done? Okay. Well, the... <coughs> oh, sorry. This is what you get for talking about the press. <laughs> well, the mag's at the general store, as usual. Make sure to check it out. This is a scoop. Hey. You're not going to believe this. The chief fired me. So that you could find a better paper to, you know, get <laughs> hired for? Or is it because you were looking and it's like, how dare you betray me? He only wants his serious little sports articles. Bah. Well, whatever. Has he been putting... Has he actually been printing out these monster sightings in the sports section? <laughs> well, I think he said the entire magazine is just a sports magazine, so... <laughs> I was thinking of settling here anyway. 
With the Yeti and the cave drill and, you know, with Laura the jeweler. Wait, which one are you settling with? <laughs> like, you want to settle with the monsters? I mean, um... You do you, pal, but uh, I don't <laughs> think it's going to go well. <laughs> Welcome. I'm not hey, going to protect you if you go after the cave troll. Or... Or the, um... Yeti. Yeah. <laughs> or the jeweler. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. Frontier final. Tons of exclusive shots. 16 pictures of the elusive Yeti. <laughs> Well, Wait a minute. I only took one. Did you just duplicate it 15 times? Uh, you know what that makes me think of? What? Apparently, if you get... I think it's like a knockoff of like one of the old Nintendo consoles or something like the NES. They'll say like they come with like whatever, thousands of games and whatever. And it'll just be, you know, a relatively small number of games. But the menu listing will just keep repeating them. <laughs> up to the number 1,000. Wow. Yeah, is that dumb? Uh, all right. I genuinely have no words for how dumb that is. <laughs> I tested the, um, the jewel earring, by the way. Was it here or the other slot? I forget. Yeah, here, the heart earrings. They, they cause enemies to drop hearts occasionally that they wouldn't, but also any time that regular hearts would drop from like a chandelier or whatever, There'll be bigger hearts, which are worth, like, two, I think. Ah. So that's what that does. So it's useful if you use... A lot. Yeah. The specials? Or... Yeah. And also, I think it's safe to use just the, uh, you know, one glyph on its own and whatnot, so I want to see what this does. Dominus Agony. Shrouds you in Dracula's magic. Okay, that just hurts over time. I don't know if it increases my damage or anything. If you save real quick, we'll let you uh, use all three of them at once, just to see what happens. I think that's the thing that will kill me, but if you'd like me to. <laughs> I was wondering if like something special is going to happen because you didn't use it for anything important. Just, hmm. Uh, you did save, right? Okay. Saving now. All right, as you wish. It's like, what was the quote? And you can die for all I care. It's like, as you wish. Activates Dominus. <laughs> all right, so. Oh. Oh. Did I hear her spine crack or something? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. But she said, now is the time of your demise. Uh, <laughs> but more so her own. It's like, oh, hi, you know. Nice to see you back in town. Oh, God. <laughs> now is the time of your demise, small child. <laughs> <sighs> All right. Uh, so, yep. Just confirming that it does, in fact, uh, unalive the user. <laughs> <laughs> All right, time to see what's in Dracula's castle. A forest. And a gargoyle, just on its own. Nightmare gate. Ominous. Oh. Here I am. It's all gone. What little I had, anyway. No, that's not true. There's one thing left. My mission. I'm the only one left who can end this. Hear me, Dracula, in your square brackets that you call a castle. I am the morning sun. Come to vanquish this horrible night. I believe she said that in uh, Judgment as well whenever she appeared in the beginning of a match. Sounds like something that they put in for a character's intro. Like yeah. That. Alrighty. Well, Nightmare Gate. Back to the classic Castlevania experience of actually going through Dracula's castle. Whoopee. So I do remember seeing or hearing someone's complaint about this game 
being that it didn't have Dracula's castle, which clearly means they did not play far enough into the game to actually get here. Oh, a blood skeleton. I know in Portrait of Ruin... Oh, that's, ac that's an actual gargoyle enemy. Okay. Ah. In Portrait of Ruin, I needed something special to actually kill the red skeletons, although it does have a different name then, right? Blood skeleton instead of red? Okay, and it does... It does consider it a kill so that I get his stats. Whereas the Portrait of Ruin one, I actually had to get something that could kill it before it would even consider it killed. This one just comes back, but is still okay to Interesting. Not, not permanently murder. Ooh. There was something there that I could get a glyph from. Whoops. Here, maybe I should use some different glyphs. Black Panther can drop some glyph here and nothing else. Okay. I should have also seen what the uh, peeping eye could drop. But I didn't. Max hearts. Lovely. I will take. Okay, is one of these a save or something? Yes. Okay. You know, my intuition worked. Dracula's castle seems a bit more bony than normal. It might just be this one section. Stop. Take owls. Do owls eat cats? I don't know. <laughs> I mean, I assume if there's a big enough owl. <laughs> and a small enough cat. Huh. Back to checking for secrets I go. Ouch. Wow, that actually hurts despite being a skeleton. No, stop. Let me walk all over you. Ooh. The beeping. Haha. White drops. Ah. That is a thing, actually, I should do at one point. I could probably do it here in a moment. I want to actually check and see if it does what I think it does. Alright, so how many do I have? Like, let me choose one that I have a lot of. Okay, I have three of the black ones. Alright. Although, I don't know if anything is going to be weak to darkness here, so let me try something else. Maybe red? Lead? Red. Oh, okay. Lead drops, um... Uh, I don't remember that lead being a color. Or anything that would be good to consume. Oh, there's a chest here. Ruby. Alright, let me equip fire then. Where is Ignis? There it is. And then let me find something to test it on. Maybe the skulls in the last room if this doesn't continue. No, this continues. Okay. Alright, you. 42 per hit. What are you, anyways? Ghoul. Hmm. Ah, they poisoned me. That's going to affect my damage output. It will ruin the test. Uh, and no! Alright. Yeah, 42 is the base damage, so now if I use red drops... Where are they? Whoops, I just went past them. Yeah, 44. So that is what it does. Okay, good to know. Is this permanent or temporary, though? It should be permanent, because otherwise, why? Yeah, because otherwise that's a very small buff. Now 45. Huh. Okay, well, I can check later, <laughs> after I've, you know made a lot more progress. If it doesn't do 45 at least, then something's wrong and that sucks. Alright, fair enough. Die, please. I got like nine freaking levels and you're still kind of tanky now. Alright. What even was that? I think it was the Black Panther thing or the, the peeping eye. Huh. Yeah, that's... Because like, I... I... I've clearly seen the peeping eye, but that other thing just keeps moving so fast I don't get a chance to see it. Yeah, the, the lady thing is uh, Black Panther. 
Wait, is it a lady or a cat? Apparently both. Ah. It seems like they turn back into a human shape as they die, so it might be something similar to a werewolf. Hmm. Excuse me. Coming through. Screw your chandeliers. <laughs> ah. Why is my magic taking so long to come back? <laughs> Something about for a second when I saw the the peeping eye looking upwards, it looked like you wouldn't hurt me, would you? <laughs> I'm just a little guy. <laughs> I'm just a poor harmless frickin' eye thing. Library, bloody tombs, tomes. Yeah, I was about to correct you. Uh, yeah, I love reading tombs. Don't you? I don't think I, I, I don't think you should enjoy anything that's dripping blood. <laughs> <laughs> I'm surprised using flames doesn't burn down the entire place. Have you ever thought how, like, how significant it actually is to, like, destroy a book or something in, like, fantasy settings? Because a lot of them seem to take place before one would assume the printing press was made. Oh, God. <laughs> so, you know, every time you destroy a book, it's like, that was... Like, hours and hours of work that someone had to rewrite every single letter <laughs> of a previously made book just to make that recreation. And you just ruined it. Do you know the, uh... In Oblivion, the, uh... The Lusty Argonian Maid. I've heard of it? Someone must have sat there and copied it over and over again. To make all the copies you find. Must be a dedicated fan of the book, I guess. Or paid very well, I would hope. Ugh. Okay. It, That's, <laughs> is the terrain here just made out of skulls? This is made out of books. Oh, okay. From here, I guess all the pages just look like skulls or something. <laughs> Although that explains why as you walk on them. You see pages flying about. <laughs> Makes me think of Luigi's Mansion yet again. The uh, the paper money. Oh yeah. They can fly all over the place. Sorry, there goes your statue. Probably also takes a long time to make. Unless you have some demonic form of automating that process as well. And Draculina. I think it said you had two kind of rare things to drop. That'll be fun. Draculina? Yeah. That's actually what it's called. Couldn't just call the vampire -ess. Oh god, it's you again. Oh no. Yeah, it's weird. They have like a second phase when they get hurt enough and they start shooting at you. Hmm. Alright. Oh jeez, the map. It's, it's all zigzaggy. Oh, you're old. I've seen you before. Alright, is there like a save point here? Yes. I, I keep feeling like you're getting overwhelmed. Except, no, those three are just his owls. <laughs> yeah. His, uh, aerial strike force. That makes them sound stronger than they are. <laughs> a lot. <laughs> okay, there's a way back. Okay, fine, I'll kill you for the frickin' third time. Also bring back my Owls 3. Oh, and there's a boss. Ah. And yeah, we seem to have enough time for that. I just want to check what's here. More MP. Okay. Awesome. Who are we fighting? Because I doubt it's Dracula himself already. <laughs> Oh, Wallman. Uh, is that like Bomberman or something? Ouch. Yeah, I'm still here. I never left. 
Wait, can I destroy them? Ow, that hurt. A lot. Oh. I'm out of those. Oh well. Wait. How'd I get a super potion from you? I oh, don't wait. know. Those thingy things he put there. Can they block? I don't know. If you place more blocks, will I have somewhere safe to stay? Ow, that still hurt. I'm just not sure if I can kill him too soon or something. Nah. <clears throat> Stop. Oh, he, yeah, because he's healing himself. Yeah, he'll be fine. Oh, okay. Mm, that's not going to be safe. Um. There we go. Wait. Pass through solid walls in specific locations. Yeah, parries. Cool, but also, aren't you getting hurt? Uh, how would I get hurt? The thing below you? Well, I'm standing on a block that should be preventing oh, it. Oh, it blocks it? It should. I'd be very surprised if it didn't. I... I, I assume that they just... Oh, wow. Wait, did taking the soul kill him? I guess so, because he was in the middle of using it. And, um, yeah. That'd be pretty terrifying. <laughs> You're in the middle of phasing through a wall, and you lose that ability to phase through walls. Oh, yeah. That, that would suck, wouldn't it? <laughs> yeah. Although somehow it still looked like he crumbled instead of just being stuck there forever. All right. Yeah. What was it called? Perry's or something? Hmm. Oh, that's that thing yeah. that we've seen before a few times. Oh, and I get another glyph for it. Oh, is this... Yeah, Melio Confodere. A superior rapier glyph. Oh, tier three. Mm-hmm. I don't know if you remember, but there was a point in the giant's dwelling on the far right room. I said, you know, I think, and then I said, never mind. The thing I thought of was that I remembered Melio being the third term, you know, for anything that's the third tier. Ah. There's just whatever, then there's Vol, whatever, and then there's Melio. Although, based on the slots that I saw, I think, in the guides, I don't think elements are going to have a third tier. Yeah, oh. see, there's no empty slots here. It's just the regular and vol, whereas the the blade weapons and whatnot seem to have a third slot for each. Ah, uh, well. Oops, did I equip the wrong one? No, I did. Didn't. Eh. That looks more like a sword. Oh, it's the rapier. Sorry, I was thinking the, um... What's it called? Like the spear thing or whatever. Oh. Yeah, no. Rapiers do look slightly like swords. Spears, not so much. Yeah, so that's Vol and then Melio. Alright. Even more reach and power. Indeed. Okay. I'll put Ignis back there. And then... Oh god. Another one of you. Whoops, I don't have my owls. Okay, but that does give me some other stuff I can explore in the regular map outside of the castle. Because there were a few portals. Yep. I think a couple of places. Screw you. Okay, then. It's always Lord Dracula. <laughs> Lord Dracula this, Lord Dracula that. I don't know if there's anything better you could be saying, but geez. One thing goes wrong and he's like, uh, please save me. <laughs> Where is your Antichrist now? <laughs> hmm, okay, I how are you supposed to reach these top shelves? <laughs> yeah. Well, okay, I guess Dracula himself can fly. Oh, that was a hole in the ceiling. Yeah, okay, that's what I was checking for. Whoops. I was looking at the map. <laughs> so yeah, I'll probably need some sort of upgrade to get there. Hmm. 
more frickin' books. Someone should really clean this place up. <laughs> Do they have the no. room? <laughs> Wait, is this because we kill kept killing all the maids in the previous games? <laughs> they don't have enough maids now. Whoopsie. Either that or Dracula's become a book hoarder. <laughs> <laughs> huh. This is an oddly unique looking room. What are those things that are hanging? I can't tell. I'm not sure. Like one looks like maybe a dead bird or something. Maybe multiple. Not sure. But this doesn't look like a place where you'd keep dead animals. <laughs> For meat. Come on, do, don't you ever just want a piece of chicken while you're reading a good book sometimes? Actually, I guess this isn't quite that area anymore. I see, like, cabinets with some sort of dishware in the background, so maybe this is a kitchen-like place. Oh, and Mad Butchers. Okay. Okay, yeah, this looks, I don't know, more like a... some Something to do with culinary. Yeah, cooking room. Yeah, there's like an uh, oven. Events. Yeah, oven in the background. All right. Uh, I don't like this the uh, the waiting service here. <laughs> yeah. They uh, keep trying to s slice me in half. Zero five stars on Yelp. Ouch. Yeah, this is not good. Ouch. Okay, I'm um, about uh, to die. And now I'm not about to die after one of those. Screw you. Ouch. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. Alright, I'm hoping this will connect back to the starting area so I can just go to the save point. Ouch. She kicked me. Alright, is there... Just a random bat flying around? Is that yours, or...? No, it's hers. Ah. Hey. <laughs> Can I please just eat some of this food laying around to heal myself? That'd be convenient. Of course it would be. That's why you can't do it. <laughs> Yeah, I'm hoping this will go down and left. But it doesn't appear to be. Ah. Ouch. You Not a safe spot. You weren't supposed to reach me. I've killed enough of you, I don't need to keep <laughs> killing you. Just, you know what? Forget it. Save point, please. I'm begging you. Oh. No save point. Have a glyph. I kind of burped in the middle of that sentence. <laughs> Dextro Custos. Attack with the right head of Cerberus, guardian of heck. This glyph is resonating with something. Could there be another one? Okay, and then this is just a freaking dead end? Well, you know what? I have a ticket. I have multiple tickets, so I'm going to use one. Proceeds to use ticket out of here. <laughs> That's my ticket out of here, yeah. Alright, because it is definitely time to end the episode, so yeah, we'll unfortunately have to end it here for now, but we will continue this next time. So, goodbye for now. Goodbye. <laughs>